What's up everybody? Uh, you'll have to forgive me, I'm just getting over a little bit of a cold, but today we're going to be going over the new car, the Ford Focus RS. Let's get to it. the audio gets better I took off those uh, clips on the side that every time I move the camera they would jingle so hopefully you guys can't pick that up anymore but we have a 2017 Ford Focus RS uh, this is my new daily I just picked this up about a week ago I apologize I haven't made a video sooner I've been sick um, and just kind of get everything finalized with this car uh, right away <clears throat> I got to send a set of Michelin uh, X Ice 3 winter tires. Uh, they are phenomenal in the snow. I got a set of 18 and it's just motor wheels from Tire Rack. They hooked me up and they gave me the tire wheel package, TPMS sensors, filled it and everything. Um, and I went and picked them up because they are local to me. So it was really nice. Ordered them one day and I picked them up the next. So that was really cool. Um, it is in nitrous blue. I picked it up from Texas. It had 5,100 miles on it. Drove it back. Uh, thank you to my girlfriend and my best friend Derek that went with me for that. I know that was quite a drive there and back. Um, there was a lot of, well, you might be asking why, why'd you go all the way to Texas? Well, I'll tell you. There was a lot of other ones closer to me, but none of them wanted to A, work with me, and B, none of them were a 17, and none of them were the RS, well, I shouldn't say none of them. If they were a 17, they didn't have the RS2 package, and if there wasn't a 17, they didn't have the RS2 package. So this is a 17 with the RS2. That means heated seats, heated steering wheel, which is super phenomenal. Um, like I said, it's gonna be mostly the daily driver. Uh, I plan on doing some small modifications, like maybe an exhaust. You know, just bolt-ons, not E85, because I have that on the Evo, which I do still have as a shot. Uh, so 2.3 liter EcoBoost, six speed, all wheel drive. Um, I don't think that it rides like a board for our, all the people with keyboard warrior uh, in the comment section of all wheel drive army. Focus RS is our garbage law, I've had gasket issues, yeah whatever. Um, decided to take the risk, I got an extended warranty on it to 100,000 miles bumper to bumper. So I'm really, really not concerned if it has, if it's having head gasket issues or even if that's part of this at all, <clears throat> since this is a 17. I don't know, there's rumors that it was just the earlier one, so we'll see. So we'll give you guys a little bit of a walk around here. We'll transition into some things that I do like and don't like about the car. Uh, I absolutely love the headlights. Headlights are phenomenal. I got three rock chips fucking driving it back home from Texas. In Kansas City, they literally put fucking rocks on their roads uh, after it snowed um, and that was really fucking dumb so I got one to the side and two to the hood that are going to be repaired next week um, otherwise I don't think it rides too stiff uh, everybody else does I don't know when you put the thing in sport mode then yes it does ride really really stiff but in normal mode I think that it rides actually just fine so here we'll set you let me see if that looks good. We'll set you guys up like right there. I should clarify. I said when you put it in sport mode, I mean the suspension because it has different settings. Um, it has your normal drive modes, uh, normal, sport, track, and drift. Um, and then it's got, you can change the suspension settings over here on the left stock with the indicator stock. Um, you just push the button in on the side and that's separate from the drive modes down here. So you can change you're kind of tune the suspension separately from your drive mode. So if you keep, let's say you put this like a really fun drive mode that I've experienced is track mode, <clears throat> traction control on and s suspension and normal. Um, you get really crisp throttle and you get every, all of the benefits of the track mode, but you don't get that harsh ride um, and traction control is on. Now you can toggle traction control on and off in that sport mode or in that mode rather. Um, so if you're gonna go play, that's an excellent one. Otherwise, obviously everybody knows the famous drift mode, which I have tried, um, but 
the drive up from Texas, the car came on snow tires, It came, or I'm sorry, summer tires. It came with the factory, those Michelins on the 19 inch RS wheels, those graphite RS wheels. And when we hit the Minnesota, that's where I'm from, it was a blizzard. So that was really, really awesome to drive in a freaking blizzard the first day I got it. Um, if you follow my Instagram, I actually posted a picture at the gas station where I had about three inches of snow caked on the back of the hatch from driving up here. And I, I ended up missing my exit, actually, because the car just wouldn't stop in the snow. So we had to take back roads, and it ended up taking twice as long. But we made it, and the next day I immediately ordered snow tires that you saw before. Um, things I don't like. Uh, there's really only one that I don't like, and that is if anybody's ever been in a Ford Focus RS, it's the boost gauge. They didn't put any numbers there. So you just, you know it's nothing and you know it's 30, so you assume the middle is maybe 15. Um, but I don't know. In my Evo, I've got one that does vacuum as well, so I like to see when the engine's at vacuum. That just goes to zero. I like the other gauges, but um, I think that is just kind of something that I really don't like. Otherwise... I can't think of anything else, you guys, because I love this thing. I absolutely love this thing. It's going to be a perfect daily. It gets like it gets like 25 miles to the gallon, and it does have a small gas tank, about 13 gallons. But I think it's perfect. You don't get much in a six-speed all-wheel drive turbo, you know, other than your STIs and your Evos, which I have a 700 horsepower Evo. So, so we'll see what that happens with this. Like I said, it's a, it's a. I wouldn't even call it a risk, but I did get. Uh, uh, extended bumper to bumper warranty for 10 extra bucks a month so I'm like why not so in the event that something does happen to this car I will definitely be covered all right guys I appreciate you stopping by to check out the new Ford Focus RS uh, keep an eye on the channel it's definitely not going anywhere for a long long time um, I'll take you guys with me if we end up doing some modifications to that and then I promise the Evo since my last video quite literally nothing has been done but that's okay cuz we plan on resuming that normal schedule once it warms back up again. All right, you guys, thank you so much for stopping in. Uh, check out some of the links in the description. I do still am an affiliate with Fiki. If you haven't checked him out, check out his stuff. I don't have his sweatshirt on today, but he's dropping new music, I think a song a week. So if you haven't heard of him, check him out. Otherwise, if you like his stuff, check out the link in the description, buy something, support me, support him. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for stopping by.